Cross Beat Production. Yo, so we're here inside of uh, Studio One, and I like to use FL Studio as a plugin inside of Studio One sometimes. So let's get some MIDI out of FL and put it straight into Studio One like I've done here. I've got the MIDI file uh, here, as you can see, and uh, that was printed from FL. So I've got FL Studio as a plugin. You don't have to have it as a plugin inside of Studio One to do this uh, method. It's just what's happening right now. So FL Studio is here. It's, I'll just highlight that. Let's make it a crazy color. Uh, what's crazy? What is ultra crazy? Uh, let's go with white. Anyway, so we've got FL here as a plugin. So you can see here, if you hit the little uh, little keyboard type thing here, it shows the little plugin tab here. I usually put a pin on my plugin there and that's uh, notifying me that's on. So if you hit that little Apple little thing there, it'll bring up the FL Studio program. And you can see here, I've already loaded my, uh, my plugin here. I've got it open as the actual project that I started in FL Studio. Uh, so the, the fact that I want the MIDI, because I, I want to be able to control the MIDI in, in Studio One as well as FL, uh, but I want to be able to hear the sounds um, coming out of my, uh, my project inside of Studio One. So let's play the project. I'll show you what this sounds like inside of FL. We'll just get this all highlighted so it plays and we'll hit play and hopefully we'll get some sound here we go all right pretty straightforward it's all playing it's as a plugin inside of studio one so the point of this is to get the, the MIDI like you have here out of FL so I can start manipulating more of the audio inside of Studio One uh, and work with it that way. So let's go. I'll show you exactly how you do it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, let's open up this as the example. Let's not close that. We don't want to close it. All right, sweet. So we've got MIDI here. Uh, if I want to get all of this MIDI out of here, and just use it as a media, not audio file. What I would do is click on this little tab here and open up your MIDI that you want. So whatever it is that you want to choose. Uh, so you hit the file here, make sure you hit the file tab. And then you go to this export as MIDI file. Um, it has a copy to clipboard, but I found that it only works if it's inside of FL Studio. So I tried to copy it as a clipboard MIDI file and then drop it into Studio One. It didn't work. I don't know why it doesn't work. I wish it did. But it doesn't anyway so the way you do it is go to export as a midi file and then it allows you to just export this particular midi file to wherever you want so i've got it on my desktop uh, just because that's the closest uh, location for me to find it at hit save and then it'll go straight to your desktop so if you go here and you now see it's on my desktop i've got the little midi file here now i can actually just drag this i'll just make an actual um, instrument track here just to show you that it works so I'll just drag across this instrument track. Let's just choose a random sound. Hopefully it's not too crazy. Uh, let's go with keys. EP suite. All right. So we've got the, the instrument track here. Now we've got is drag this straight across to Electrax. And now you see it's a MIDI track inside of FL. Uh, sorry, inside of Studio One. So let's play. Sounds like trash, haven't done anything with it yet though, but the point of it is so you can get MIDI straight to Studio One. Um, this is the quickest way that I've found to do it, apart from you know having to bounce out the whole project bones and all that sort of stuff. I, I find that um, you know if you're using a machine or something like that, it's a lot quicker, uh, but FL Studio is not as quick to do that. So that's the best way that I've found to do it. Hopefully this is helpful for you guys. If you like this, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also hit the notification bell so you get any updated content. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.